So I just got done training at Real Fitness in Playa del Rey. Highly recommended if you live in Playa Vista, Playa del Rey, anywhere in the kind of West LA area. Um, so I've been training there. Uh, today was leg day. Um, I try to write down my workouts so that we can keep track of what I'm doing. But uh, this is what it looks like at the end, if you can see that. You basically can't read it because my hand gets really tired. I'm just tired afterwards and it's really hard to write it down. Um, but we basically do rounds of an ab exercise, a core exercise, um, and then a glute activating hamstring exercise, usually something single leg, and then into just heavy squats um, or heavy deadlifts. So um, great way to train, really gets uh, the glutes activated and working. So that's pretty much what we do every time that we train, and it jacks the heart rate up. Like I burn about 400 calories. Um, I have a polar watch that tells me my heart rate and calories that I'm burning. So it's incredibly tiring, a great workout. Um, and then I am having a protein shake. Really important to eat after your workout so that you can restore the glycogen in your muscles um, and rebuild quickly. So you wanna eat within about a half hour of working out. So I'm doing a protein shake and then I'm gonna have a couple of rice cakes. Um, so I'm getting both protein and carbs in. So it's really important to get both of those in after you work out. Uh, also great for before you work out. Have kind of a light protein carb combination so that you have enough fuel for your muscles and so that you spare the the protein and the muscle in your body. You don't want to use, uh, you don't want your body to break down muscle in order to give you energy. So you want to make sure you're fueled and then you want to make sure you restore all of that to your body as soon as you're done working out. So I'm going to have that. I'm running an errand. Then I'm actually going back to my apartment complex to do about an hour of low intensity cardio. Um, kind of up a hill so that again there's a little bit of an emphasis on the glutes and hamstrings. Um, so luckily today is a holiday so I'm not working a full day so I have time to do like two hours of working out. Um, a little bit crazy I know but that's what you gotta do to lean out. Um, and I'll just share too I have a lot of clients who make mistakes and have hang-ups in their diets and get really frustrated at not making progress quick enough um, and I always remind them that that is normal and that's okay and that is sort of how I've been feeling over the last few days. I had a little uh, moment the other day where um, I just felt like I was all gung-ho. I was like I can make this work. I'll do it. I'll do it quick. Everything will be. I'll figure it all out. I'll be awesome. It'll be great. Um, and then I just kind of had some reality checks and people you know suggest that you know I spend more time with the posing coach or I spend more money on things or wait until I have uh, more money to make the best out of this competition and then met with my coach and kind of felt like okay you need to up the cardio and you know I'm not leaning out as quickly as I would like and so it's very discouraging um, making me feel like I probably need to push off until the April show which is fine um, it just is a little bit harder because of some travel that I have to do uh, and so you know I've just kind of had a couple days um, two of over the weekend some meals that were a little bit too high in sodium and fat um, and so I'm actually feeling uh, heavier and I look almost more like I've put on weight than lost it. And so just kind of in one of those phases of frustration and wishing things were happening faster. And um, that is just life. And I just want to share that struggle with you because I know um, a lot of people have that similar struggle in daily life trying to lose weight. And um, I have a lot of clients who run into that. And um, it's not the end of the world um, and I watch a lot of videos where I feel like people just have it all together and they lean out and they look amazing and it just seems easy and um, so I'm just sharing that kind of vulnerable place where it's like oh this is uh, I thought it was gonna go easier than this like my my eating is great except for you know a couple meals this weekend where it was just a little bit too much sodium and fat um, nothing super unhealthy no major cheats but um, just enough to make me feel set back a little bit um, and slower in my progress. And so that's where I'm at, but I'm glad I had an awesome workout this morning and um, I'm gonna go do some cardio and hopefully just like I tell clients, you just have to be patient and you have to be persistent. If you do that, results will come um, and you just have to trust the process. And so that's where I'm at right now is just trusting that I, I keep consistent doing what I'm doing. It'll pay off and it'll be okay. So, um, uh, it, it was good though, meeting with my coach today, he did say that he's seeing some improvement in 
uh, my glutes and even in my quads, which we're not trying to build really at all, but he um, is seeing growth and seeing difference because we're going really heavy on things. So, um, and he asked me if I was juicing um, <laughs> with a serious face uh, because he said that, you know, I'm pretty small and I'm doing really heavy weights. And he said that there's, there's a strength that I have and he doesn't know where it comes from. So he's like, are you juicing? Um, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm a natural athlete. I don't even know how to juice if I wanted to, uh, and I don't want to. So, um, so that was kind of a good compliment. He was just saying like there, there's a about five percent of the population is like us. It's people who get working out and people who go heavy and people who can push past mental barriers and push past. Oh my gosh, this is heavy, and just do it and lift hard and lift heavy and be willing to do it. And it's um, it's not easy and it's kind of a a smaller percent of the population than I would have guessed um, and so that was kind of encouraging too like okay maybe I do have something in me that's different that will enable me to do this competition well and actually um, look good and feel confident about the way that I look when I do the competition so remember those things too if you're struggling with weight loss or um, a program anything like that everyone has their own unique strengths and um, always have to encourage yourself with the things that you know about yourself the things that you're doing well Keep those in mind to keep you fueled when uh, it gets a little bit tough and when you feel kind of discouraged and just keep pressing through and keep going, um, keep being strong and doing the, the best that you can. Um, that's what I'm doing. That's the advice I give to others. So um, I'll just encourage you as I'm encouraging myself on your weight loss journey or as you're maybe trying to build muscle. Um, just keep with it. Stay consistent um, and just use that mental toughness in the gym uh, to push yourself and then when you're out of the gym and you have other life situations remember back to what you did in the gym and apply that to normal life um, so as you re renew your mind that you can renew your body and uh, renew your life so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you here again soon okay so this is a post-workout meal slash lunch uh, i have some sweet potatoes going this is Oops. Just a Target brand roasted sweet potato chunks. Um, they're just plain, nothing in them except sweet potatoes. Um, so really easy to just throw up. They're already chopped, peeled, don't have to mess with potatoes. Getting them ready, which is awesome. And then I'm just going to weigh out some chicken that I already had cooked. Um, probably do about four ounces of this. And that will be lunch.